Welcome back. Now it's time for Executive Style with correspondent Sonia Lean. If you're getting ready for holiday entertaining, then Caroline, we've got perfect suggestions for your food and cocktail menu. So Colin and Vanessa, most people think about when they're preparing for holiday, they think about the food and they think about the drink, but they don't see, even in a very small and intimate setting, how the two can really complement each other. Absolutely, and here we've made really small kind of bites that you can do as a past hors d'oeuvre instead of a big sit-down dinner. You can do deviled eggs. We also have these mini cheddar buttermilk biscuits. They've got ham and cranberry relish, so that's a little bite. And we've got carrots with applewood smoked bacon and maple syrup. Instead of pumpkin pie, we've got pumpkin spice cookie sandwiches with vanilla bean ice cream. And Colin, you've created uh, drinks to actually complement everything here. I have. The, the first ones here, I used a little bit of gelatin with some St. Germain elderflower, a little bit of vodka. They pair perfectly with this lovely ham dish and they work really well with the eggs as well. Okay. Also, what I've done is I've created this beautiful, nice, hot toddy, um, which when you have a small space, the aromas of you making a hot toddy really very welcome. Absolutely. So when your guests arrive, they yeah. smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg and it's yeah. pear and it just, right as soon as they walk in, you give them a drink and they're good. Exactly. Thank okay, you. so we're ready for a party. Yeah. <laughs> in any space. <laughs> yeah, in any space. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is an amazing spread you all have here. So what was some of the thinking that went into pairing these items together? Well, I always recommend whenever your guests arrive to always have a couple of welcoming cocktails. Give them two options. The eggnog is a great introduction uh, cocktail. And also here we've got a holiday cocktail, which is really, really simple and easy to make. It's just Belvedere with some cranberry juice and fresh apple juice. And so Vanessa, you've taken some staples and done some interesting things with them. Yeah, I love, you know, Colin's using fresh currants and cranberries, and we try to do the same thing, you know, um, using, with the food, uh, using local or seasonal ingredients. Um, it doesn't have to feel necessarily like Thanksgiving as much as it's just fall, winter, holiday. So here is a healthier take on collard greens. They're sauteed. They still have that smokiness with the smoked turkey, but they're not braised for a really long time. Um, classic mashed potatoes, which everybody loves. Yeah. We've got our, our classic turkey. This is butter basted. This is asparagus um, that's been sauteed, nice, bright green. Um, we've got caramelized onions and some browned almond slivers. And then over here is a soup. It's butternut squash and leek. As for dessert, what would we serve? I always recommend you should start with champagne. Great job, Caroline. Back to you. Thanks, Sonia, and thank you for watching Black Enterprise Business Report, your ultimate source to achieve wealth for life. For more information on anything featured on today's show, check us out online at blackenterprise.com slash B-E-B-R. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at Caroline B. Clark. See you next week.